Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're going to try another soup. We're going to make a corn soup today with saffron. And then we're going to drizzle on top with uh, some hot chili peppers, lemon, zest, and ginger. So let's get with or let's get to it. So I've got my 16 ounces of frozen corn in the food processor. I'm going to add two chopped cloves of garlic. One quarter cup chopped shallots. One and a half tablespoons olive oil. I've got a pretty large pinch and I've smashed it up with my fingers of saffron. And one and a half cups chicken broth. I'm going to put the processor on until it's got a very nice smooth texture. I'm going to add this to the pan. So I don't know if you can uh, see that good. I, you see the little flakes of saffron all throughout this. It'll give it a really nice flavor. So we're going to put this on the stove. I'm going to turn this on a medium low and start to heat this up while I finish up the, um, the second part, the topping. So while the soup is heating up, I'm gonna make the uh, topping that we're gonna drizzle on top of the soup before we serve it. Uh, I've just got a small dish here. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna to add to this about a teaspoon of finely chopped green pepper. So I'll do is cut three slices. Okay, that's pretty good. I went ahead and left the seeds in there. You may want to uh, devein and deseed the pepper. Catherine and I like this, uh, like our food fairly spicy. I've got about a teaspoon of crushed fresh ginger. And finally, I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of lemon zest. add a nice big heaping half tablespoon. Stir that up. I'm also going to make a couple of uh, slices of the jalapeno just to put on top for presentation. So I've tasted uh, the soup. Very oh, nice corn flavor. The saffron really jumps out. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Okay, we'll dish it up, drizzle it with this topping, and we'll see how it tastes. So here's our soup dished up. We're going to drizzle it a little bit with our oil, with the lemon zest and ginger. There we have it. Let's give it a try. Catherine's going to take a taste. It's a beautiful color. It looks beautiful. Mmm, good. Good. When you first taste it, there's a little bit of heat, but then that lemon kind of cools it off a little bit. Now, that lemon really makes this thing uh, very good. Beautiful color.
It'd be nice if we could put some kind of red, like a red jalapeno mm. <clears throat> on top. Yeah. Yeah, this is very good. Enjoy that. Um, so what I made here is maybe two and a half bowls. So if you're going to have a, a family, you should probably double the, the recipe that I um, made. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe to Ed Foodie. Thank you.